How to create multi-page website in Figma. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you will be able to create a multiple page or different pages for your website design in your Figma. Now, I have a design here that I'm going to be using an example for today's video. And this is a design, a very basic design. And as you can see here, there's multiple boxes over here and each of them indicating a different page. So for example, over here, I have a work in progress. We have this one over here. This is basically the home page. And this is what I want the home page of my website to be. And of course, there will be different stages. So for example, if someone selects add gig over here, this will of course indicate that we want the website to change into a different state or a different page therefore i have this second section over here which will be the second page so in figma uh, you will be able to freely create a prototype or a framework for your different websites and the one that i created today is just a very simple design wherein i just utilize this uh, some elements, some frames, stuff like that. I did not create a prototype where everything's actually functional where I select this and will redirect to another one. But you are completely free and you are able to do that even if we just do what we're going to do in today's video. And so what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to teach you how you will be able to create something like this, multiple pages that you could plan a flow, and have a section where you will have an idea on what the next page should be and different things like that and so i will show you the basics so i'm going to leave this one for now going back to the files and i'm going to create a new design over here so let's go to drafts and let's create a new design and now over here this is our figma this is our empty page right now empty section so what we want to do right now uh, I'm going to change the background to a uh, darker shade over here so that we could see it more properly. So what you're first going to do is you're going to click on F. Now clicking on F will allow you to create a frame. Now the frame is very important. That is where the content of your different items will be. That is how or there is that is where you will be able to have control on what, where and the interaction between the different frames uh, will be formed. So if you click on F, you will see over here on the right side, you have a different frame. So if you're, if you're going to create a specific design for a phone or like a website only for a phone, I suggest that you choose a frame for a phone. But if you want like a general website design, you could go with desktop for now and let's go with desktop. And as you can see, it will auto generate us a size frame that is exactly good for a desktop design. So over here. So now let's say this is our first homepage. Now what you could do is you could change the name of this by clicking or double clicking this desktop uh, dash one over here and say this is the homepage. And now doing that, as you can see, we'll be assigning the specific frame over here as your homepage. And now you could basically do whatever you want on your homepage. So let's see, uh, let's say I want to create a very basic a login section page over here, basic a login page. So we put it over here. Uh, let's make it white, but we're going to add an effect which would allow us to create a shadow. So uh, let's create a shadow over here, increase the blur, increase the spread. As you can see here, go. You're able to see it as you can see here. And we could add some stroke. So you can see the box just like that. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to add some text. Here we go. Simply drag and then say log in. I'm going to highlight all the text. And over here on the right side, I could change the size of our text. Just like that. And then I could change our font to whatever we want. Or we could make it uh, simple just like that. Just make it big. Here we go. I'm going to center this. Center it with this one. There we go. And then we could add some boxes over here where the information should be inputted. There we go. Then so this is our button over here. Supposed to be. So what I want for the button is something similar to our design. But smaller. 
Here we go. So this is our button over here. This is where they will be entering their login information. So let me finish up this very quick design that I created. There you go. So let's assume that these had content. Here we go. Login. Or continue. Something simple like that. And let's make it not, not bold. There we go. And now let's say this is our first page over here. Very simple and very direct. Now what you're going to do is you, if you want to create another page after this, let's say you have successfully logged in, you can click on this entire uh, frame. I suggest that you select from the name because if you select the box itself, it's not going to select it uh, directly. As you can see, I'm trying to select it, but it's not. So you select the name, then simply hold Alt and drag it to the right. Why do I drag it instead of creating a new frame? I mean, you could create a new frame by clicking on F and then desktop. There we go. You could easily create that. But sometimes, of course, there will be some elements that you have on your initial page that you want to be present on the second page. But you just have to, uh, there will be just uh, some minor changes, of course. So uh, I would prefer doing the alt and dragging because of course like i said it will maintain some of the elements that you want to maintain but as you can see i have now two pages so now i could change this into a different page so let's see page two and now you could uh, create a completely different design in this section and depending on what design that you want so for example this one uh let's say home then you could now add whatever information or whatever uh design that you want to have in this section uh, let's say this an image over here uh delete that for now uh you could create any uh imagine whatever output is present in this page you could have it over here just like that so let's say this is our second page and now we have this and now you want to have a third page simply do the same thing you could simply do that and what i'm going to suggest if you have a specific flow you put it on a specific alignment so uh, back when I showed you the other one, the one that I uh, had earlier, this one, uh, you noticed that there was uh, alignment on how the different flow would be. So let me show it over here, as you can see. So for example, this one, my flow that I wanted here is that the user will click on the add gig. And then this is the second page, that this is the one that will appear, and now this is what you can see. And then uh if they want to view they could this is what they're going to see over here as you can see and if you want to edit this is what they're going to see and if they want to delete of course it will just delete and for this one uh this one i want it so that the user will actually search for a specific ticket now, i forgot to add a search bar here but it should have a short search bar here and it should add a ticket or show you the current ticket that you have and as you can see here just like that so that's basically it guys if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching